What's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Disney's latest Pixar movie, Luca. Set in a beautiful seaside town on the Italian Riviera, the original animated feature is a coming-of-age story about one young boy experiencing an unforgettable summer filled with gelato, pasta, and endless scooter rides. Luca shares these adventures with his newfound best friend, but all of the fun is threatened by a deeply held secret. He is a sea monster from another world just below the water's surface. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer and I love to do movie reviews here on YouTube and if you like the sound of that then you might consider subscribing to the channel because I post reviews all the time here from new and old movies. Also, if you've seen Luca, then please make sure to comment down below what you think about it because I think this is probably one of Pixar's most divisive movies because I've been hearing people really like it, some people not really like it, and a lot of people kind of in the middle. So I'd love to know where you stand with this movie. And also make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed my review because that always helps out the channel. And this review today is going to contain some spoilers, so if you'd rather go into the movie completely blind, then I suggest you go watch it, form your own opinion on the movie, and then come back to my review or if you don't care and if you've already seen the movie then I hope you enjoy the review. So Luca, it's a movie that I was anticipating because it's a Pixar movie and I think anytime there's a Pixar movie there's always some sort of excitement coming from me because I appreciate the studio so much and I'm a huge animation fan so anytime there's a new animated movie especially from one of my favorite studios I'm gonna be excited but this wasn't one that was on the top of my list and by watching the trailers it looked cute but to me at least it wasn't one that I was dying to see if that makes any sense but when it was available on Disney Plus especially at no additional cost I was excited to check it out and the there is a lot to love with this movie. First of all, the animation is beautiful and I feel like that's a given every single time there's a new Pixar movie, but I really like the style that this movie has. I love the character designs so much. It's a very specific cartoonish style that I'm just so obsessed with and I think they really nailed it. I thought all of the character designs were really cool and I also liked seeing how they could change from sea monsters to humans. I thought all those scenes were really cool, how if like water touched them, they would get a speck of blue or green and they were turned into their original form. I thought that was excellent and that goes to show that the concept of this movie is really cool. I like the idea that you have these characters that if any water touches them they turn it back into these sea monsters and also when they when they're dry they're humans. I think that's such an interesting concept because at the beginning when it started I got very little mermaid vibes from it because Luca kept talking with his parents about like going up the surface and they were warning him about the surface and a lot of conversations and dialogues I was like, this is literally The Little Mermaid. But I like the whole concept that they could change because it's more unique there. And I also loved all of the stakes and all of the conflicts that that brought because especially towards the third act at the very end when they're doing the race and it starts raining, I was about to jump out of my seat because I was so anxious for these characters. I was like, oh my gosh, they're about to be exposed. So the whole concept and the character design and the animation was beautiful. And one of my favorite animated characters in this movie is weirdly the girl's dad. I just like his character design so much so I just had to put that out there. The voice acting is incredible especially from Jack Dylan Grazer. I'm a huge fan of him ever since It and I love the voice acting here. I think he did a really great job and I really liked his character but the other cast was also great. I liked Emma Berman as Julia and I also like Jacob Tremblay as Luca. I thought everybody was really great, honestly. And one of my favorite things about Pixar is just how good they cast the characters. Because I can't say that for every animated movie, the voice acting matches the character. And I think here they did a really good job because they genuinely sounded like kids. And I enjoyed that because this is a kids movie and they are playing kids. So I appreciate it when movies get younger actors to play younger characters, it's always a big plus when that happens. And I also thought the chemistry between the characters was really interesting. I enjoyed seeing Luca and Alberto do their thing, and I also liked when Julia was brought into the movie. I thought they were a lot of fun. However, I think one of the biggest problems with this movie is the villain, I guess? I don't know if I should call him a villain because he, to me he was just a really annoying character. Every single time he came on screen, I wanted to punch him and it, just in the most, in the worst way possible. Like, I just did not want to see him on screen. I don't think he was any good at all. I still thought he was a pretty easy villain to beat because he he was almost kind of stupid at the same time, so I don't know. Not really a big fan of him. Other problems that the movie has, in my opinion, were that I think the pacing was just really off the entire time. The movie started and I really liked how it started in the water and we got to see some of their life, you know, there. 
And then I think it cut way too quickly to the land part. Like, I was in it and I was really excited to just learn about this world. And I think the movie kind of did a snap and it started, if that makes sense. And it, it, it just threw us into the plot way too early for what I think could have been a really good time for Pixar to explore this world that we're in. Because like I said, the concept of this movie is incredible. I really like it. Dare I say it's probably one of the coolest concepts they've had, but I just feel like I didn't understand anything. Like, I wanted to learn a lot more about their lives in the ocean. They talked about the deep ends. I wanted to learn a little bit more about that. I wanted to know why these people were really so afraid of, like, the humans. Because in other movies, like, I'm gonna just throw The Little Mermaid for example, you know, it's kind of a similar situation where family member doesn't want them to go up the surface because, you know, they're gonna kill them, and I guess they do kind of explore that here, but I just never really understood the risk that much. I just don't think the conflict in this movie is that good. I never understood why they could turn human. I guess I could just pass that, honestly, maybe it's not the biggest problem because it doesn't, like, worry me that much that I don't know that. But I would have liked to know maybe why they're able to turn into humans a little bit more. I think they just honestly got to surface level when it was to like explaining things about this world. Which is so not Pixar because I think Pixar is really good at world building and just explaining as much as possible. And I'm not trying to compare this movie to other Pixar movies because I think as a standalone movie it does what it's supposed to do. It's a family movie and I think kids are going to enjoy it. I think every single time I judge a kids movie too hard i have to really think am i really the right audience for it because i i genuinely think little kids are going to enjoy this movie it's a lot of fun it's really colorful it has beautiful scenes some of my favorites were when they went went to like space and they thought the stars were fish i thought that was so cute so awesome but i still think like as an audience member now there were questions that i had and maybe kids won't care that much i don't really think they will but personally i just think the movie could have gone a lot deeper because i think they had the space and the potential to do so so the entire movie luca and alberto are hiding you know and the movie has a really interesting theme about acceptance i think it's a really good theme that a lot of kids and just people need to understand the conflict of the movie they're hiding they don't want anybody to know they're sea monsters because even julia's dad is like hunting these sea monsters and then when they're revealed after the whole rain i literally was like oh my god it's gonna go down like things are gonna start beating up like things are gonna get crazy because now the entire town knows that they're sea monsters and nothing happened like they spent the entire movie talking about this risk and how scary it was for them to like show who they really were and it took a few dumb lines from the villain and then some other lines and then in like what felt like five to ten minutes the problem was resolved i just don't think it's a believable third act because for all of the stakes that they brought into the movie i don't think the outcome was really what i was expecting or at least what the movie was supposed to give us if that makes sense i think if i were to rewatch this movie it just would kind of not pay off like i just think the entire movie won't wouldn't pay off because with that being said they could have honestly just been exposed at any time and nothing would have really happened because the people in this town are so nice and just the biggest problem with this movie to me is the pacing and the conflict that really bring down what i think this movie could have really done there's a lot of scenes of luca wanting to go to school and i think those scenes work in some aspects but sometimes i think they focus too much on that where in, is is this movie just turning into like luca going to school and i never really understood why he stayed like it's just there's a lot of things that i just didn't really understand about the movie and maybe i'm reading too much into it because again it's a kids movie kids are not going to really think about it that deeply but personally one of my favorite things about pixar is making movies that works for kids teens adults and i think this one definitely is way more for kids and i want to end this review on a positive note because although i have issues with this movie you know i still think it's a pretty good coming of age story because Luca does go on a journey and he learns things and I did think the theme was really well done. I just ultimately wish this movie would have paid a little bit more attention to world building and would have bettered the conflict because I don't think the movie did what was necessary to make it play out as good as it could have been. So I'm going to give this movie a C plus. Thank you guys so much for watching today's review. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you haven't yet, please make sure to comment down below what you thought about Luca. I'd love to know everything you have to say about this movie. And yeah, that's about it for me today, everyone. Make sure to check out my description for a bunch of links to my social media and other places where you guys can find me. And that's about it for me today, everyone. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.